So, how's it going guys? Shade here, back to another video, and today it's a little bit different video, it's a spicy deck. Uh, I'm bringing you guys uh, Chimera Unchained, and I must say, uh, this deck quite honestly surprised me. Uh, yesterday, some of you were talking on my uh, Unchained uh, guide that um, this was a possible deck. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't checked out my Unchained guide and you really like the deck, you should totally go check it out. Um, so yeah, you guys mentioned me about uh, this combination of uh, decks and I just, I really had to uh, go and test it. So uh, let's get into some combos. So first of all, it's Gazelle uh, or Mirror Sword Knight or uh, Coral plus... Um, Evil Hero Necrom is my uh, go-to search off of Gazelle right now, uh, as a Fiend monster. Uh, if you don't play it, uh, you can't do it as a two-card combo, but yeah. You need to play this guy for the two-card combo, uh, and uh, you can open either this or the, fusion, the Chimera Fusion plus the Gazelle, Mirror Sword Knight, or um, Coral. So, let's get into the combo. So, first off, we just got a normal Summon Gazelle, get the Chimera Fusion, and then we're gonna activate the Chimera Fusion, use the Necrom and the Gazelle to go into the King of Phantom Beasts. And now you can go Gazelle Chain Link 1, Chimera Chain Link 2 to Chain Block. We get Kotal to our hands, and we get Chimera Fusion back to our hands. And then we go Kotal, search the Mirror Sword Knight, so we can have all of them in the grave. You go for Chimera Fusion here, and you go into Burfomet. And now Burfomet effect sends the Sharvara. The Sharvara effect gonna get the escape from the deck, and now the Necrom can banish from the graveyard to go into Malicious Edge. Uh, this could be any level heavily raw monster. All of them are fiends. I just thought that this would be the more relevant one uh, because it's just a big attack and that's piercing damage. Um, so I just linked off into Yama. Yama effect gets the Arua, and then you go Arua on the trap. Trap effect, gonna get the Sarama from the deck. And Sarama just resets the trap, pops a Rua. Then you get the Shayama from the deck. You link off into a second Yama. Then you go Shayama on the Sarama. And then Sarama is gonna activate, so is Yama. Yama is gonna get back the uh, Sharvara. And then you special summon Abominable from the deck. And you just overlay into Caesar. And you link off into Rage, and this is your whole board, and you must be saying, um, but this is just full chain combo with extra steps, so uh, why are we doing this? Well, actually, you would be wrong, because not only on end phase, we get uh, Chimera to remove a card from our opponent's hand, we also have all the Chimera interruptions, because you can get them all back from the grave, really simple, because now uh, we just go end phase, and the Chimera uh, resolves, and then we pass turn, and we can, at any time that we want to use it, go Chimera to revive the Abominable, and then you can chain uh, Burfamet to revive the Chimera. You get Chimera, and you get Abominable. Abominable discards any random card from your hand to destroy one card on the field. And now you still have uh, both Sword Knight and Kotal as interruptions live since you get Chimera on the field. So you can banish the Sword Knight for a Monster Negate, you have the Coral, and you still have Escape, plus the Rage and the Caesar. so this is 3 disruptions on Rage if you play SP, only 2 if you play Unicorn. Uh, another 2 disruptions on Caesar, so that makes either 4 or 5 disruptions, a 6 disruption on Escape, a 7 disruption on Abominable, and an 8th disruption on Sword Knight with a 9 kind of disruption, which is Coral uh, just ban uh, banishing itself to uh, protect you from target. So you have either 7 or 8 interruptions, depending if you play SP or not, um, plus targeting protection one time. This is uh, really, really nice. I like this combo a lot. Um, and the cool, thing, the cool thing about the Chimera is that... Um, it's basically uh, Yama. It's just Yama. It just revives the Fiend 
uh, from the deck. So you can just on demand revive whatever you want. Uh, it's Yama, but you don't have to trigger it with destruction. It's just a quick effect, which is really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, this is the combo number one. Uh, let's go into combo number two, which is without the engine. It's our three card combo. So we need Gazelle, we need any Fiend, and then an Unchained Starter or a Trap. Let's show first uh, the version with only the Starter. I'll show with the Trap later. So you go Gazelle, get the Chimera Fusion, and you just fuse off with the Fiend in your hand. You go into the Chimera. And then you activate Gazelle and chain link to Chimera as always. Same thing. And Coral gets the Sword Knight. Then you use Chimera Fusion, go back to the hand. And you go Chimera Fusion into Burfomet. Burfomet gets the Shyama, which will give you the trap. So now you have a Rua, so you can go a Rua on the trap. Trap effect gonna get you the Sarama. Sarama resets the trap to pop uh, Arua. Arua gets the Shyama from deck and now you link to into Yama and you get Shavara back to your hand. So now you go Shyama and that triggers Sarama to get the Abominable. You just link to into Rage and now you can Shavara on the Rage and Rage Effect is going to get uh, Sarama. So, uh, you could even be thinking that this is uh, even worse uh, than before, but it's the exact same board. Uh, the difference is you already have the follow-up uh, Sarama, which you would get uh, whenever you escape on Rage during the first board. You just did that on your first turn. Uh, you have the Sharvara on the and the Shyama under the Caesar. You still have Yama to revive back Rage on your opponent's turn, and you still have the revive on Chimera, you still have the revive from the banishment of Burfamet, you still have everything else. How you work this, uh, since this is a bit different the sequencing, you just end phase, you take a card out of your opponent's hand for the uh, Chimera, then on our opponent's turn, we can, whenever we want, just go for a uh, Chainlink 1, uh, Chimera, Chainlink to Burfamet, you, you just activate both their effects so that whenever the Abominable goes on the field, you already have the Chimera life for, um, for uh, the protection effects and the monster negates. So um, you just activate both. I targeted the Rage, but it's the Abominable you want. Um, it was a misclick. So you get on chain link to the chimera and chain link when you get the abominable so now abominable can trigger you discard a card and pop something on the field so that's your first disruption and you have the mirror sword knight in the quarrel as i mentioned so that's another uh, two uh, possible interruptions we, you escape on an abominable and the card of your opponent and that will trigger yama to get back the rage and so you still get the five disruptions of Caesar plus Rage. So it's the full eight disruptions plus the optional um, targeting protection from Coral, which is really nice. Uh, you just have to sequence it a bit different. You have to be smart before you sequence, sequence it. Okay, and now going into um, the version with the trap. If you open the trap, it's a little bit better because the problem um, which makes us like sequence it a bit worse is that since you have to use Sharvara to get a trap, you don't get a second trap in rotation with this combo, which is the difference of hard opening uh, escape, because now you can literally summon Shar Sharvara from the deck and will uh, make it so that you have the second trap in rotation. So that's the difference. You just go here, Chimera Fusion, Chimera Fusion with the two, go into the Chimera, Chain Link 1, uh, Gazelle turning to Chimera, same thing as always. Get Coral, get Fusion. Coral effect is gonna get the Sworn Knight. Here I get the Birth from it, uh, because I was trying uh, something different. Um, I I was sequencing a bit different, and this was the first time trying this version of the combo, so I was uh, forgetting 
uh, that uh, you can make uh, the Burfomet using illusions as well. So I was adding Burfomet for the fusion, uh, forgetting that you need you can also use illusions. So this here should be a Sword Knight so that you have both in rotation. If you started with Sword Knight, then you can search the Burfomet here, which will give you the Sword Knight extra on the field that you can activate on your opponent's turn to act as extra disruption. Um, not disruption, sorry, it's extra follow-up. Just go Sword Knight into Gazelle, and it's the exact same thing you have, but now you have Gazelle, Gazelle Search on top of the whole board. Uh, but yeah, if you don't start with Sword Knight, you of course want Sword Knight right here. I was just uh, miss... Um, I was just trying some lines when I did this. Um, so you just go and use these two for Burfamat. And uh, you go Burfamat effect. Don't mind this. Uh, Burfamat now here sends the Shayama since we have the trap. Um, now you set the trap and you go Shayama on the trap. Trap effect gets the Sharvara. And now you link into Yama, the Sha Sha Yama goes back to the deck, and you go Yama chain link 1, chain link 2, Sharvara. You get the trap, and you get the Arua. Then you go Arua on the trap, trap effect is gonna get the Drama, Drama, gonna pop one, and you get the Shayama. And then you go Shayama on the Rama to get the Abominable. And you go into Caesar, and you go into Rage, and it's the full board. Uh, the only difference here is that to get the Chimera on the field to make Sword Knight and Quarrel live, um, you need to go in and activate Caesar, detach uh, Burfomet. Uh, that's the only difference. Uh, besides that, it's the exact same board as always. Uh, of course, don't mind the coral. This should be in the graveyard with uh, a Sword Knight instead of Burfomet. Uh, but yeah, you can of course go into Burfomet if you have Sword Knight and just gives you more follow up because you go Sword Knight into Gazelle, as I said. So these are the main combos. Uh, of course, uh, this is a deck list. I'm still trying things out, playing with ratios. Um. um you playing Triple Gazelle, Triple Sword Knight. I'm trying with two Coral, one Burfamet instead of three Coral because um, I'm trying some consistency cards such as Prosperity and stuff, but you might be able to cut down Prosperity, play a 10th non-engine, uh, add the one Coral, and it should be more than fine. Um, so yeah. Um, the... the um, the Unchained engine does, doesn't bridge into the Chimeras, but the Chimeras bridge into the Unchained, so like, um, I feel like this package is really, really good, and it doesn't occupy that much space. It's like uh, 12, uh, 12 cards right now. And if you are hoping that this engine, it's still fine. Um, if you open a lot of stuff, you can still either do... Um, the Chimera combos uh, only, which is like uh, the Chimera, um, the Chimera end loop plus setup for a uh, Guardian Chimera. Um, that should be more than fine as well. That you can use then the Unchains on your next turns to break boards. Uh, that should be more than fine. Of course, if you open uh, any combination of Chimera Fusion plus. Coral, Mirror Sword Knight, or Gazelle, it's still insane because it's full combo of Unchained. So, drawing a lot of these does not end up that bad unless you draw too many of the illusions with Gazelle. Um, yeah, I like this package. Then we have the one Evil Hero, Sinister Necrom, and Malicious Edge, so that we can two card combo with Gazelle. If you don't like this package, you can take it off and you basically just end up with um, not having a two-card combo for uh, this whole board. You just have to three-card combo all the time. Uh, but that's up to you. Um, I don't feel like they're that bad of, um, like, um, bricks. Because if you draw them, at least while you have any access to the Chimera engine, you can, at the very least, um, 
use them for a fusion, for example, and they'll be able to use them in the grave. The only real brick would be a malicious, malicious edge, but even at the worst, it's just fodder for uh, the Chimera fusion. Uh, then you have uh, Triple Arua, one Charvara, one Shyama, one Sarama, one Abominable. For the Unchained package, I don't really am missing Rakia here, especially because you want to use your normal summons on either Gazelle or Swarm Knight, so you don't really want to to play Rakia in this, it's too bricky. Um, so yeah, I like these uh, three Arua, which are basically just extenders onto our Chimeras, and uh, the one-offs that are really, really good. And the Abominable by itself is actually really, 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 really good. Um, you Because you can just like send it to the graveyard with the birth from it, even if it's just with um, the Chimera engine. And then the the Chimeras can like revive it for extra disruption on your opponent's on your opponent's um, turn. So uh, Abominable in this deck is really really nice. Um, and then we have uh, two escape two chamber. I didn't want to play too many of these traps because of course they are pretty much like dead if you can't bridge into the two engines. And uh, since we also play Abominations, which can also be either uh, the extenders or uh, the traps as well. I just feel like seven is more than enough since you play these four and those are three. Um, so I feel like this is the perfect ratio and you should not play more traps since this is a, a two engine deck. Uh, then I wanted to try some prosperities for uh, consistent. You probably in this deck don't want to banish mo uh, a lot of things. You would like prosperity for three most time, but still Prosperity for 3 is really nice. Uh, and then I just put in some non-engine, you can put in whatever you want. Um, for the extra deck, uh, 2 Chimera, King of the Fantasy Beasts, uh, because sometimes making the second is actually, um, might come up in grind games. Uh, then we have the one Birth Um it's just basically uh, Foolish Burial, and just revives uh, someone from the grave. Uh, th there could be a reason to play a second of this, but I just have no space for it because there are other cards that I needed to put in, like for example the one Magnum the Reliever and the one Chi Guardian Chimera, for when we are stuck with only um, Chimera plays so that we can at least have Chimera plays when that, that happens. Um, and also Magnum just uh, can give us next turn uh, like a free like draw if we still have a fusion in the graveyard, which is really nice. Um, and then we have the Unchained package, which is three Yama because uh, as I did, one of the combos uh, uses uh, two Yamas. So uh, the second Yama mm, will come up for some combos. So you need to play three. It's actually mandatory for this version. Um, then we have the two rage. This feel the second one might come up in uh, grind games just like he does in the normal Unchained deck. Uh, then we have Unchained Soul of Anguish uh, for just uh, this is really nice. This format as uh, just removal, uh, really really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, and the one Unchained Abomination which might come up. It might honestly be the one card that you are uh, the most um, comfortable with taking out of this deck because it might not be that good this format since it's destruction removal uh, but still it's pretty nice. Uh, then we play the one SP, one unicorn. I play both so that I have multiple targets for a, a rage. You could play double, uh, double SP if you want uh, but unicorn might also be nice to just link up Sometimes after you use Anguish as well, just link into the link 3, remove something from the fields, and try to go for game. Might be nice. And then we have the one Caesar, because uh, Burfermet being a fiend level 6 just helps us a lot. And the fact that both y monsters are Yama, you are way more comfortable using Yama on your combos to go into Caesar. So yeah, you just need this uh, for uh, this version of the deck. And I really am enjoying it. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck list. I sure did enjoy uh, testing this deck. This deck is actually quite, um, quite interesting. And 
yeah, I hope you guys like it too. Uh, comment if you have any questions for me, any suggestions, if you want to uh, maybe try and do some fix up right here. I just been testing uh, last night and today, this morning. So um, I might need to uh, do some improvements in the list somewhere. But yeah, um, that's going to be it. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.